is Saturday morning at our Barb and Gabby camp out and uh, we had quite a bit of stuff happening last night. So as we usually do, we're going to start off to my left here and document the night's events from Kelly. Kelly. Um, last night I didn't really hear anything, but this morning uh, when we both, I had to get up to use the restroom and I heard um, like a woo. And then a couple minutes later, another woo. And then maybe another 10 minutes later, another one. But it didn't sound like the owl that I heard the first night. Um, I don't know what it was, but that's what I heard. Okay. Mike? Well, I went to bed at 12.15, and I guess I slept the whole night. I, don't, I remember Anna coming in at about 1.30. But other than that, I, uh, I didn't hear anything. Um, possibly Anna did. Anna? I stayed up as late as I could, because things always happen after I go to bed, but after that, nothing. Nothing? Okay. Well, you guys are in the motorhome, so it's yeah. probably a little harder to hear in there. Yeah. Okay. Sandy? Um, I always go to bed early, so I'm probably one of the first ones in bed. Um, second. Second, well, yeah. second one to Tom. <laughs> You're right. All right. So um, I went, I just hear the conversation around the campfire. I finally go to sleep. But this morning... <laughs> It was still dark out, so it had to be 4.35 o'clock, somewhere in there. I, um, I, I'm not sure if I heard Gabby bark first, but it w something woke me up, and what I heard was in the distance was, um, I call it singing, but it, it was just, it wasn't a screech or a scream, it wasn't an owl, it wasn't that bugling elk, it was just, oh. You know, like the classic calls type, and it wasn't just one individual; it was several individuals yeah. overlapping each other, mm. and they yeah. just went mm. on and on and on. Probably for a good half hour, I laid there listening, and so then I said in my head, "I'm like, you know, if it's really you, come closer so everybody can hear this." You know? <laughs> um, and then, just as it started to get light. This was still going on back here, this uh, business. And then the bird or that whistle that we've heard the last three mornings started over here um, and started coming this way and ended up over here. And when that started, the singing stopped. And then this whistle continued over here and then it stopped. So it's not, you don't hear this whistle during the day. We haven't heard it during the day. We haven't heard it during the rest of the night. Nobody else is hearing this except those early risers in the morning. So it was still dark out at this point? It was just barely getting light through my tent. Just barely started the transition to dawn. Okay. And so, um, but it was interesting because once that started, that stopped. And that, this whistle went that direction and then that was it it was quiet wow okay cool what time was the singing started um i would say probably around 4 35 it was still dark out yeah and i just laid there listening to it um and it just went on and it sounds on. like chant. you know what it reminded me of when you said that it reminds me of of chanting mm. like oh. in a monastery where they uh -huh. the, the, i think oh, it's called matins in the morning the morning prayers okay. that to call in the dawn, and then this one was ending it. Yeah, that's really that's pretty. really that, kind of cool. Yeah, it is it that yeah. way because it was it was interesting. It wasn't just one; it was several. Mm -hmm. And then um, Judy came down this early this morning, and Yvonne and I were out here, and she said, "Did you hear them waking up? You know, or hear their calls this morning?" And I was like, "Oh, good, you heard that too." Because it, it was really kind of cool. Um, so me, I don't know. Yeah, it was it was very fun to listen to. I was hoping that it would come closer and louder so that you guys would be like, "Holy cow, what's going on?" Because <laughs> it was very, it was really beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Pat. Well, I didn't hear anything last night. I went to bed at 1:30, so I slept like a log, but. Before we went to bed, we went, Kenny and I went down the road and hung, a, hung our food basket in a different spot. Louder. Oh, we hung our food basket in a different spot and we put a recorder on a tree 
So we'll see what happens. Looks like it was a, a game trail coming down from the top of the hill. So we're hoping this morning something happened. Yeah. Cool. And we're going to go down to the lake and get uh, our footprints. So um, the <coughs> baskets, the food you've been leaving out throughout the week, has anything been taken or Nothing's changed? Been or taken so far. No? no? Okay. Penny? Not really. Um, just a little tie-in with Sandy's. Uh, I'm laying there in my dream state, and I heard a crunch right at the edge of my tent, and it kind of woke me up. And I can't tell you if it was a real crunch or if it was just in my sleep. So I discounted that, but um, if you, if I can describe the whistle okay. that started here to there, to me, it didn't sound like a whistle. It was a flute note, a single oh, flute note okay. to me. And it was a regular periodicity, I think. You know, like every eight seconds, it was a flute tone, flat flute tone, the same note it's the same for note. all the way across the camp. So I yeah. think it was a bird, but I've never heard a bird sound like a flute. And just one note, and it That's took good. several Good. minutes to go from this side to, to that, that side. side. Yeah, and it happens the same time every morning, so it's not. Yeah, so I, I still want to, you know, look up and listen to the night hawk song, but it doesn't sound like a. It doesn't sound like a hawk. It's mm -hmm. not, not like any hawk I've ever heard before, and it is just one tone. One tone. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hi, I'm Tim Tuttle from Tacoma, Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Had to start it off, you know. <laughs> um, I all I I stayed up kind of late too last night. I went and sat in the back of my truck and was looking at the stars and looking out in the forest, see if I see any eye shine. And pretty much all I heard was elk having fun, if you know what I mean. <laughs> But I did hear some flute, too. That, that one note flute, I heard that, too. Oh, you did? I did. Oh, I heard cool. that, too. But other than, I'm not crazy. <laughs> you're still crazy, honey. That's <laughs> <laughs> so that crazy you love. <laughs> <laughs> but no, other than that, I really don't have anything to report. Okay. All right. Claire? Well, as Kelly said, we got up to go to the bathroom, and, and then we heard, um, it's like it started here. And ended up like over that way, but it was over a period. It was probably she went into the truck and stayed in there, so she probably didn't hear it. But I went back in the tent and laid there for about 20 minutes till I fell asleep, and it was like it was like a, a yell, and it was every few minutes, and it was moving. It was moving. Oh, so what what was time like was a, this? Pardon? What time was this? Um, it was about five. Started at five. About five o'clock. Uh, yeah. I heard a yell. Do you hear and that? It was like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll say <laughs> yeah, and then it was like what I would think Bigfoot would sound like. That, that's what it sounded like. It didn't sound like the deer we've heard, the elk, or you know, the, the owl. Yeah, no, it wasn't an owl. It was a holler. Was it like the ah? Yes. Thing? So that's what I was hearing too. Yes. It wasn't that close though. No, it wasn't that close. No. Mm -hmm. But it was. Oh, see, and I thought it was over here. Isn't that funny? Well, and yeah. see, you know, I'm way I down there. Up. So, who knows where it went. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, I, I listened to it until I fell asleep, and it sounded like what I would think, you know. Mm -hmm. But it was cool. moving, definitely. Mm. Yeah. All right. Uh, Nancy? I didn't hear anything because I'm inside my RV, except I did hear the dog barking uh, before yeah. it got light. And okay. So I thought he was barking, Somebody but barked. dog bark. Okay. Yeah, Did Gabby come out and greet you this morning when you got up? Was she already uh, out she, here? She came to my tent before I got up. Oh, okay. So, yeah, because I didn't get up until after it was light. See, I've been leaving the bottom zipper open yeah. so that when she doesn't have to wake me up when you get up. <laughs> yeah, I've been sleeping in the last two mornings a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Well, you know, just just a little side thing that that about Gabby. When we went into the tent last night, you know, she's exhausted. She went straight to her dog bed, and I got her blankie and tucked her in. And I got into my sleeping bag, and then I, I remembered I'd left my iPod in the car. So I got up, and I said, no, no, Gabby, you just stay there. Stay cozy. Yes, yeah, stay cozy. <laughs> but uh, when I went outside, she followed me out anyway, but she had her blanket draped over her. Aww. And it fell off outside, so I picked it up and shook it off. And when I went back in, I just laid it over my uh on my dropped it on my cot while I took my shoes back off 
And she went over behind me and put her nose in the cot, and she's pushing her blankie and looking at me like, hey, it's mine. <laughs> Did you forget something? Because she didn't. Normally, she'd just go right to her little bed and lay down, but it was like, wait a minute. You're not, like, taking that, are you? <laughs> so I tucked her back in. Yeah. She deserves that. Yeah. Okay, uh, Tristan? Well, <clears throat> first of all, when, when, when I went to bed last night, be, in those trees behind the uh, the tents, I kept hearing this uh, these taps or knocks on, I think it was a tree, and this was like 9 o'clock at night. Oh, really? Yeah, it, it, they weren't very loud, but they're, it, it almost sounded like a woodpecker, but what the hell is a woodpecker start doing that at night, so... Wow. I just sat there and I listened to that for a little bit, and I, I think I dozed off and went to bed. And then when Penny and my mom came back, I'm sure they heard this too. There was like an owl or something going woo. Did you guys hear that when you came back? It was like woo. I heard three of those. Yeah, so those were going off. I don't know which direction that was. And then, uh, then I went to bed, and uh, then Gabby? I think this morning you guys were talking about the same thing. Like there. I heard some yelling or something going on this morning, and, and then I heard like I don't know if that was gunshots, but I heard you know the. Did you guys hear that this morning? It sounded like gunshot. Well, oh, the fire. Oh, was that the fire? Little, little Mark said, oh, maybe that's is that what gunshot? Because it, it. Yeah, yeah, it was making some big pops last night too. Okay. All right. So that's basically all I. I mean, all I heard. And, and yeah, we just heard a yell, what, a couple minutes ago? Yeah, mm -hmm. while we were talking. We were yeah. talking it sounded about. like a woodpecker off that way tapped and then a, a yell, a howl back that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I doubt the camera picked it up, but I think everybody saw our heads turn when it happened. So, <laughs> okay, anything else? No, and you know, we found those footprints uh, up by the lake yesterday, you know, uh, juvenile tracks. And so. Okay, well, we'll be down there documenting and casting more of that today. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, there might be more this morning. Oh, fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like last year, you know, you wake up, you go down there, and a new set of tracks. So yeah, it might be the same this morning. Cool. Okay, Courtney. Um, I heard a, a yell last no, early this morning that woke me up. Um, my car door was open this morning. Your car door was open. Wow. So that my happened to Sandy in the Blue Mountains. Her car door was open. Was it Anything. Wide open? No, it was open about this much. Oh, really? really? So it wasn't right, just... Parked right there? Yeah. Huh. Anything moved, missing, disturbed that you noticed? Uh, Dead no. battery? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even look that. But uh, I didn't really even look around. I just saw that it was open and closed. Oh, I see. Okay. I should look around. Okay, cool. Okay, and then Yvonne, who prefers to remain off camera, is sitting beside me. What would you like to tell us? Um... The night before, because I'd seen red eye shine and seen what I think was a seven foot friend, uh, I was quite nervous when it got really dark. But I had to go to my tent and walking up, I, th I was thinking, please, if I see you again, can it be when it's lighter? I don't know why I'm scared of the dark, but I am. And I got. <coughs> And then I walked up further and I got, <clears throat> but it was a gentle, right, okay. That's the impression I got, that's what that meant. It wasn't a, a scary, loud, it was a very gentle noise they made twice. They let me know they were there, but they weren't going to let me, they weren't going to pounce out on me. So uh, later on I went back to my bed and slept until this morning. And I heard three owl calls, but it was, and then bzzz and me and then again and then bzzz and me and it reminded me of like when you were a child and you had to get up for school and you were going another five minutes I put that ear that was getting the bzzz against the, the pillow and I got the bzzz in the other ear after the <laughs> and I was like right I'm up <laughs> so my alarm call and as I, I was first down to the, the camp, and as I walked down, saw the, a black mass, and it was actually Gabby. <laughs> it had that wee step back thing, but it was getting a bit lighter, and I thought, all oh, right, it's a bit lighter, is that you? And then I noticed it was Gabby just lying in front of your tent. And as I walked by, she got up and came down with me, 
and I tried to stop her, but she just right to Sandy's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she does. <laughs> Sandy. Cool. Okay. Yeah, so, you know, I know you don't want to be on camera, but everybody can tell that by her accent that she's from Wisconsin. Okay. Well, I guess that wraps up our Saturday morning meeting, and I believe today we're going to go out and be documenting footprints. So fingers crossed that there's more. <laughs> yeah. Right on. All right. Cool.